Hi, here we are back in the patch this week. Um, probably in the next couple of weeks we're going to slow these down, just do them every two weeks because the numbers will start dropping. A couple of people have asked about how we do our watering in our little watering system here. So we've basically got um, five 50 gallon drums. You know this one missing from here? This is from the pump that we lost earlier on. And what we've got in here, I'll just quickly show you, is a pump. We're filling these up. At the moment they're getting about 100 gallons a day. So we try and give them one in the morning, one in the afternoon. We put, we don't have a dosing system on here. Any feed we put in is put in with straight fertilizers so we're very careful to watch the conductivity so we don't end up with too much um, like a load of salts going onto the plants that are going to hurt the plants and burn the roots so just remember if you start putting on straight fertilizers if you've got a cut in your finger and you stick your finger in the uh, in the fertilizer it's going to sting your hand and that's what's going to happen basically to your plants so if you put too much on if you, yeah, if you put too much on, that's what's going to happen. You're going to, so we, we're very careful not to put on too much. So we've got our, normally our six drums here, and we've got one for each plant, so we know exactly what we put on the plants. We've got here, if Stuart pans round, this is our, our data logger. We've actually got this one on the uh, Wallace here. This is all for, um, what Steve helped us out with. So it gives, it's giving us an idea of the profile of the soil and how wet the bottom is and how, how wet the top of the soil is. We've got here, so our mist line. We can set that to whatever we want, but this year, because it's been pretty cloudy and the weather hasn't been brilliant here, and so we haven't had to mist them down. So, but this is our mister. So we can either put them on hand or we can set them up on here on like a, a regular feed and all the rest of it. So Stuart will follow me into the patch. Where are we going to go to first? Are we going to do the mirror first? Okay, here's the mirror. Um, plenty of netting going on in the back. I don't know how quick they're growing, but they're netting quite quickly. This week, she is, on day 45, she is 903 pounds. That's up to 203 pounds for the week. She's averaging 29 pounds a week, a day. So, never ever going to set the world on fire, but it's a good banker. You want every, you put everything into every single pumpkin you've got here. Because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. And I'm just about to show you what happens tomorrow when you uncover a pumpkin. That's what can happen tomorrow. The last two days, look at the state of this pumpkin. Stuart and I have never seen this before in our lives. It's just unreal, isn't it? So if that was your hopes on Friday, your hopes are now finished. Uh, we don't know why this has happened. It's certainly not water. Uh, could be genetic. Always was a bit iffy on the front here. We, we felt it was a bit iffy. But that's why we never keep our, get our hopes up. We, we enjoy looking at what we might get, but we're always on the back foot waiting for something to go wrong. And that's what does go happen and go on in the patch. So that's exactly why we're going to look after that mirror there, because that mirror is not on world record pace. In fact, it's not on PB pace, but it may well save our, save our year.
we're now going to go to the worm, and I'm going to get Stuart just to wade in through there and get a picture of the back this week. So here we go. I hope you can hear me from over there. Rather beautiful looking pumpkin. Beautiful ground here. Absolutely perfect. Okay, here we go with the Wallace. Still got the tiny crack in the back, but it seems fine at the moment. Um, obviously a little bit low here. In fact, it's low all the way over. I'll just stick my arms across here, and you can see how long this pumpkin is and how low it is, but it's still doing reasonably well. It's 1,033 pounds. That's up 252 pounds this week. And that's 36 pounds a day. So as long as this one holds up, it's going to be a very, very big pumpkin. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. It's not a beauty contest. Nice colour. It's just a funny shape. What did it do last week? Last week it did 378 pounds and it was average 54 pounds a day. It's been a bit cooler this week. Might be past a bit. There's a 